Three ranking members of the House of Representatives have filed resolution of both houses number no. 7 or RBH 7. This resolution is a direct copy of the Senate measure advocating for economic charter change, specifically resolution of both houses number no. 6. This seeks to amend the restrictive economic provisions of the 1987 Constitution, particularly regarding public utilities, basic education and advertising industry through constituent assembly or CONAS. This mode of constitutional amendment will convene the two chambers of Congress into constituent assembly for the purpose of amending the Constitution. The House of Representatives has assured that there is no political amendments in RBH 7. The provisions which we placed here is exactly the same what the Senate placed. Para wala nang iba pang storya o wala nang iba pang mga iniisip o pangamba so, wala nang duda rin. So, pinatter na talaga namin. Meanwhile, House leaders say they are considering convening the members of the House of Representatives as a committee of the whole to facilitate the approval of RBH 7. They also commit to review the measure comprehensively. Constitutional experts, economists, and other relevant individuals, as well as those who oppose economic charter change, will be invited to the hearings. Again, we are clamoring that uh, uh, this is not a fast-track method. This will be debated in plenary exhaustively like any other bill, especially that we are tinkering the Constitution. And so we need this badly. And so imamaraton po namin ito alang-alang po sa bansa. The Senate is conducting their own hearings. And I, we felt that it is also proper that the House will also conduct its own hearings. Um, yun na rin naman po yung mensahe ng ating Pangulo na dapat magkaroon ng healthy debate and discussion about charter amendments. Uh, it would be proper that the Committee of the Whole, no, lahat po ng member ng Kongreso, ay mapag-usapan ito at i-elevate yung level of discourse and discussion and debate dun sa usapin na sa aming paniwala ay maaaring makatulong sa ating ekonomiya. Ito nga yung pag-amendment ay pag-amenda ng ating economic provisions. Para patunay, isang patunay din na wala hong nag-iisip na magkaroon ng political provisions amendment dito sa ating saligang badas. Magkabayang block lawmakers again oppose charter change. Hindi chacha ang sagot sa ating kahirapang mga at mga problema. Kailangan nating tugunan ang ating mga pangunahing mga pinoproblema ng ating mga mamayan. Bubuksan din ng Chacha sa 100% foreign ownership sa sektor ng ekonomiya na mas lalong maglulugmok sa ating lokal na industriya at magdudulot ng pagbarat ng sahod. The House of Representatives did not mention any timeline in passing the RBH-7. However, House Deputy Speaker Quezon 2nd District Representative David Suarez said this must be tackled before the State of the Nation Address of the President because after that, they will be occupied with the 2025 proposed national budget hearings. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.